Today, the House of Representatives returned for the first time in weeks to take up legislation as part of the ongoing special session. News 19's Becky Buds has more on what's left to be done and how much this session is costing taxpayers. Bills criminalizing fentanyl trafficking and requiring voter safety courses are headed to the governor's desk to become law. However, the state budget, as well as enhanced penalties for illegal gun possession and bond reform remain unfinished. But all this overtime is costing the state money. On top of their $10,400 salary, lawmakers receive an extra $260 for each day they convene during the special session. For example, it costs $70,000 for the House to return on May 19th and more than $60,000 on June 7th. House Speaker Merle Smith says it's unclear when the special session will come to an end. I, I, would, I always want to be out of here as quick as we can. We're part-time legislators, and we've been full-time legislators due to COVID for the past three sessions, and it's time for us to get out of here. And So I'm ready to go tomorrow if we can. We get a conference report on these other bills, and we'll do that. And unfortunately, I thought we were going to have conference report. The House plans to return over the next two weeks. However, the Senate hasn't scheduled any sessions so far. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX.